about the final hour of our program here. Shell, 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 can you yep. tell? Can you first all, with that? Yeah. So we tried. We were trying to figure out what the actual meaning behind yeah. the situation should. You explain it to us. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, honestly, like, you know how we're subjected to a lot of cultural norms. Oh, yeah. Yes. Like, especially here, right? Yeah. Like, there's a lot of reasons to why we don't end up in the relationship we want to be in. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes that's based off on you know. TNC. <laughs> <laughs> it's sometimes based on just, you know, things like just race, yeah. age Situations gap. Situations that we yeah. happen to be in. Exactly. In, right? Not really out of uh, out in our control. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and like in this song, I'm trying to discuss about the discomfort of being in a, um, in a relationship that, that's not genuine, mm -hmm. that's not honest. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to linger on the thoughts of someone else when I'm in a relationship with someone because that mm. has happened. <laughs> of course, it's not you just made me way. think of like eight different relationships that <laughs> yeah. of people I know here. Like that the are what in if? Similar situations. What if? Yeah. The what if? This is a common what topic. Very unique like, for you to uh, yeah. bring around that. But mean, as Shafira mentioned, mm -hmm. you are back. Yeah. So where have you been? <laughs> I have been at home. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was recovering actually from. Um, Something like just I had a a neck problem mm. um, a year back, and I was recovering from that, and now I'm back, and now I have no mercy into what I'm going to do for the wow. next. <laughs> I met her during the uh, during the treatment. Remember? Yes. Yeah. Yes. During the yes. Oh, because you do the therapy. Yes. Thing. Oh, same yeah. thing. Well, yeah. we, we all we go, go to the same place. place gym. Gym. We go to the it's same that gym. gym. Exactly. Uh, that yeah. gym. Yeah. And the uh, same, you know, the practitioner. We sometimes yeah. don't think that a physical, uh, uh, your physical health actually takes yeah. a part in creating music because then you have to perform and That's it does true. take a toll on you and all of these hours. Yeah. Yeah. So what's it like coming back? It was uh, March officially when you made your return. Right. I mean, it's a little shocking for me because I'm taking a significant turn with uh, how I'm taking my, my approach to music as well. Like these days I'm going independent. Uh, so I started making my own independent label cool. uh, as of last year, and now there's just a lot more challenges, of course. Like from, what? Like what's the difference? Like uh, you finances. <laughs> <laughs> That's another one. Like I have to think about how much we have to eat in a day, and and just stuff like that. Oh. Yeah. And um, like the whole business yeah. as opposed to just the music. Part. Yeah, and and I I guess it's about trusting my own gut these days, yeah. like knowing what I really want in uh, releasing something because uh, like for so many years I've been in a, a label and um, that has brought a lot of luck to me mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. despite you know all the other things but I'm really grateful for that opportunity but I gotta learn to build my own um, you know, instincts. Mm -hmm. You've evolved. You've grown. I hope right exactly. I hope now, so. That's what, that's this? the yeah. thing that I want my to say. My hair did not grow. <laughs> so. <look> amazing with <laughs> a new hair. You Thank you amazing. So how's your back, Cheryl? Excuse me. No, how is your back? Is your like my, it's it's much better. Okay. It's cool. much better. Thank you yeah. so much for asking. Yeah, <laughs> and that's the thing. Uh, I remember about her. I know her since. She's very, very young when she started everything. Not exactly ancient now. Exactly. <laughs> no, she's very young and, and, and she's very unique because she created yes. uh, the songs by uh, herself. So basically now she's grown up. Thank you. Thank Amazing. You so much. Yeah. And you, <laughs> we know that obviously that uh, she wrote her, her own song. Could you please describe about the inspiration that you got? Okay. Well, um, it's, it's a journey that I had to take on these past two years. Like it was, I, I was in a very long relationship. And um, that lasted some good, like a good while. However, I had a lot of things that I wanted to, you know, I, I really wanted to seize a lot of other things in life. Yeah. And I was limited to just, um, it's not because of the person, but because of the, the situation, perhaps. <laughs> the <Sorry>. situation. <laughs> I had to throw the that situation. in. <laughs> I had to jump in. That's a good way to jump in. Yeah. Um, like it was just the relationship. It, it was kind of. Um, you know, monotone, I guess, yeah. for, for yeah. the field and career Average. that I choose to um, do. 
and that was not something that was easily accepted by um, my partner and and the family and everything. So, do you find your else. best inspiration through your own personal experiences when you're creating your music? These days, yes. Really, that's that's what. Um, well, not these days, but like always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to. It ha it has to come from a genuine spot. Right. Yeah. Um, and I have to know how to experience it, but it's something that I'm learning to do to kind of not just listen to how I experience things, but to be a better listener and to know maybe what you're going through and yeah. one day I can make a song right. for you. Oh. And Helps us relate. Yeah. yeah, that's something I'm working on. Yeah. And does it help? Because I've heard, because I'm not one myself, yeah. but I've heard that if you can create music, from your personal experiences, it helps you also face those personal experiences and get over them if you need to. Mm. Yes. Like that. Yeah. I mean, part of the process. What about the therapy? Yeah, kind of like therapy. Yeah. Yeah. Self therapy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Um, in a way, music really healed me because it's it's also a good sign for me to to know when to when to really push through or when to stop. Because I know, I know at times I can be very hyper fixated with the things I like, mm -hmm. and music was one of them. And I feel like a lot of where my injury derived from was from a lot of stress and just like trying to push. Right. Yeah. My music. So that even I, I got sick of music for some time, and I was great. I'm grateful for that. Okay. Like, right. You needed oh, that. Okay. I needed that yeah. gap. Yeah. And like the moment I came back, I just finished five songs in Bali two weeks Amazing. ago. Wow. And that's done. How, how long so, the situation ship? Situation ship took two years. Really? Actually. Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't really know if I wanted to put it out. I had, I had like 25 other songs in my catalog and I don't know why I just stuck with this one. Wow. Good thing you did. Yeah, Thank you. Two Thanks years. So. Yeah. Thank you that's so amazing. much. It means a lot. So, um, well, obviously, <laughs> it's on a personal yeah. experiences, of course. So, apart from sharing your personal experiences that you yeah. perhaps can help people navigate their own lives with, mm -hmm. what else are you trying to convey to your audiences in particular through your music? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, personally, like I said previously, I've never really had the bravery to speak up about things that matter to me or just to represent it through the way I play my music. Mm. Right. Like, this song is actually very pop rocky vibe-ish. <laughs> yeah. And, and um, I'm taking in my references from the late 90s to yeah. early 2000s. Yeah. I was gonna say, has anyone uh, uh, ever compared you to Cheryl Crow? Cheryl Crow. Because the song and the way you perform it. <laughs> and if so, do you mind? Did you like that comparison or is that? Well, my dad named me after her. Is that right? Cheryl yes, Crow. Cheryl. Cheryl. Oh, I was right. Yeah, it's the same spelling. Wow. Well, you nailed it. That's for sure. Anyway, Thank go on. Thank you so yeah. much. Um, and, and, like, that's not something that was easily accepted back then, right? Mm -hmm. With pursuing um, music. Yes. Like, there was always this standard into how we should perform, yeah. how we should behave, yeah. how we should write things, what would sell and what would not. But these days, I feel like the listeners are much smarter so they get to choose whether they like it or not and i'm trying to just not think about whatever they would say and i'm not trying to be a people pleaser these days by just you know well you can as long as you please yourself first and make yourself happy and then yeah. everything else will fall that's into the, place that's the, that's the thing that uh, makes uh, her very unique mm. um thank you e e Amen probably <laughs> exactly and uh, if you if you listen to one of one of her songs and the way she played the guitars and all the instruments, that the way she uh, sang her song. And it, it reflects what, what you've been desired. Thank you. Know, you. It came from your heart, probably from the experience that you have been through or yeah. someone's very close to you or anything. So basically, how, how do you keep your, do you maintain your um, audience through right. your music? And yeah. you've been away for, for about like two years, mm -hmm. but you, Keep coming back, and the audience are waiting for you. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Still, I think I think one approach is to just um, practice my social media presence. That's something. <laughs> that, Ditto. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how, how else to to say that, but yeah, I mean, having that a social media presence, and at the same time, I, I um, try to keep the um, those who matter close and oh, yeah. um, and there's like a, 
I remember faces a lot. Maybe not really good with names, but... <laughs> Ditto as well. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's something that I try my best to, you know, keep as a quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So whenever I meet someone who's... Like, like I've met Kasha Fira like too many times. And just like some people here even in the studio. Yeah. And, like I remember faces. So keeping, keeping just those who, who matter close, I, I guess. Like, I, that goes the same for my fan base as well, because when they're, when they meet me, and I'm not familiar with them, I just give them a tight hug. By the way, here's a tip. You don't have to remember their names. Just be honest and be exactly. nice, because that's what I do. If I forget yeah. someone's name, I just say, honestly, I don't remember. I'm sorry, I don't know. You do look yeah. very familiar, exactly. and that's good enough. Just be nice yeah. and honest and transparent. And people like, when I came in here, I just pulled someone's ID, I was like, Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I remember <laughs> you. I just needed to check your name. So, um, real quick here, because we are running out of time. Y you said you're back, and you're back with a bang. And yeah. you have a huge library of unreleased music, I'm sure, as well. What's your plan going forward now, now okay. that you are back? Well, with my, with my independent label, I really do hope I can, I can learn to trust my team, trust my gut, it's about really... Mm -hmm. I, I'm, yeah. I'm still gonna keep going back to that because it's very simple, like trusting my gut, trusting my instincts, being able to just manifest what I want moving forward and be able to, I don't know, radiate that to the people who matter and musicians who are up and coming. I wanna be able to share with them the experience that I've gone through for so many years and give them a heads up into things that maybe yeah. they can look forward to. Because now that I'm an independent artist, that gives, I, I have more freedom to do that. Yeah, I mean, that is part of the benefits of finally being independent is that you are molding your own character. Yeah. Yeah. You're selecting yeah. which songs you're gonna yeah. release first. At the same time, you don't have to do it all yourself. You can trust the people around you as long as you surrounded yourself with exactly. the right people, as you've done. As we know, that she's very yeah. genuine. Exactly. Exactly, the music, the, I don't know, everything. I'm so glad to see and you back, by the way. Amazing. Full support yeah. for you. 2023 sure. is still young. Yay. We still got plenty to go. Are we expecting uh, another release or what are you yeah. planning to release next? An album, a mini EP, or what's like, in the works? A new single. All right. Yeah, okay. just a new single. One, one step at a time. One step at a time, one no rush. Time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That should be the title of it. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for coming by. Thank, thank you so much for you. having me. Always. Thank you. Yeah, Always. you're welcome back anytime. Exactly. Very yeah, grateful. Our home is your home. Oh, <laughs> All right. Oh my God. What's Cheryl? Mi casa su casa. Mi casa su casa. You said it best. All right, there we go, guys. Make sure you look out for it with her brand new single, Situationship. Go check it out on all the platforms. Yes? Yes. yes. Available everywhere. All right. We're up for another short break. In the meantime, don't forget to follow our social media. If you haven't already, we're on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at See Today News. See you. Not Spotify yet. Not for us. Not for us. Cheryl. <laughs>